Howdy folks. So today's topic is friendship and friends. So this is a very, uh, I'm kind of freestyling a little bit. This is a very uh, important topic, friends. One of the realizations that I've had, you know, I'm not typically a social person. Um, you know, I was a, the oldest child and my sisters, you know, two girls, we kind of grew up isolated. And I learned at a very early age how to entertain myself. So when I went to school, you know, I was a little antisocial. And all I needed really to entertain myself was my imagination and maybe books. You know, not maybe, books and my imagination. So I kind of, my personality developed to be very independent of, uh, of uh, interaction with others. So I can go for very long periods of time. If I'm a little distracted, it's because I'm navigating some serious Atlanta rush hour traffic while following uh, my good friends. We're going to the lake, or not the lake, excuse me, we're going to the Chattahoochee River to do some river rafting. And um, anyway, I'm jumping around a little bit. It's not my nature to be social. It's not, it's not that I'm anti-social, I don't like people, it's just that it's my nature to be kind of insulated and self-contained. What I've been discovering in the past few years is the importance of friendships and uh, having, people, having people in your life. So people that you, whose company is very natural and easy and uh, you don't have to tend to be someone else, you don't have to worry about how you come off, you can speak and act in natural ways and share ideas that are most important to you. So this is something, This the value of friendship for me is something that I haven't really, up until very recently, started to uh, develop consciously. And what I'm realizing now is that basically what life boils down to is the time we spend with our friends and our family, the time we spend with people that we're comfortable with, the time we spend with people that we love, that love us, that money, work, money, all that really sets the stage for friendship and for family. So materials, you know, cars, houses, uh, recreation, it's really only a backdrop for friendship. It's a backdrop for for uh, hanging out. It's a backdrop for for spending time with you know with your friends, and ideally, even work. So me and my good friend Mike, we were talking about uh, his dad. His dad is uh, has been a manager at a particular manufacturing uh, at a bakery manufacturing for many, many years, 30, 40 years. And uh, he was talking about how much more effective that the, their workforce, a workforce is or a work unit when it's among friends. That, that the, And there's actually, he cited some research. I wish I could give you the exact research now, but where research is done comparing work groups. So you get different separate work groups. You have them do a task or a job. And it's found that the, the ones that, the work groups that are composed of friends are more effective and more productive, you know. So um, I think this goes back to man's primal and tribal beginnings, where you know we were basically hunter-gatherer groups, and we hunted and we survived. We hunted and we gathered and we farmed with our friends and our family, with our tribe. And I think this is a part of our core psychology. This is a part of our primal psychology, but. Uh, Part of our primal psychology. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's part of our primal. I guess he's still going that way. Sorry, folks, for the interruption. I'm taking this time to do a YouTube video. I don't have a lot of time, so any time that uh, I have to make use of whatever, uh, whatever time that I have. But part of our core psychology is. Uh, working in units of, of friendship, close friendship and close family, and uh, this this makes us 
allows us to feel fulfilled. This lightens the load. You know, they say many hands make light work. It's not so much that the work is lighter as in there's less work, but maybe it's many hearts. Many hearts make light work. Hopefully this video doesn't suck because uh, there's traffic that I'm navigating. It's not just traffic, it's fast moving, aggressive. Atlanta traffic, where uh, I'm following my friend who drives rather aggressively, fast moving. So this is gonna have to come over. This guy doesn't want to let me over, but what he doesn't realize is I'm coming over regardless. There we go. Yeah, you guys hear that? So anyway, uh, it's partially my fault. I should probably not be making YouTube videos while I'm driving, but. Uh, yeah, friendship is very important uh, for me, and um, I'm realizing as I get older that there's nothing more that I want to do other than spend time with my family, with uh, you know, my sister, my nephew, my sisters, my father, the woman that I love, and my very close friends who are also my business partners. There's nothing more that I want to do. That's something I want to share uh, with the world. So uh, treasure your friendships, cultivate your friendships, water, water your friendships, water your friendships with uh, by giving and love. Water your friendships. One of the biggest gifts of friendship that you can extend is to listen to people. You know, this is a double-edged sword because sometimes people, when you listen to them, they want to vent. They want to vent uh, the things that are bothering them, the things that upset them, the things that give them pain, which sometimes doesn't always help them. Sometimes speaking on your problems, it can be therapeutic, but sometimes you're kind of manifesting, you're keeping a, a cycle of, of uh, negativity going. So that I, I walk the fine line of the balance of listening, giving the gift of, of being a listening ear to, um, you know, not encouraging someone else to indulge in a lot of negativity, much less take that negativity in personally. But it's still a gift, and I think that if, if, as, if as I or as you develop and cultivate more the ability to uh, not dwell on negativity and to not internalize it and to find ways to reframe things in a positive light, to find those silver linings, that, you know, that can be a, a gift. So where you're taking in, you might take in someone's negativity, but you also kind of dissipate it a little bit. You know, I'm not advocating that. I'm just putting the perspective on it. So, um, water your friendships. Give the gift of, of, a, of a listening ear. Give the gift of a, of a shoulder to cry on, a shoulder, shoulder to lean on. How, take interest in your friends. Learn to cultivate a sincere and earnest joy in the victories of your friends, the, the ambitions of your friends, the aspirations of your friends. Learn to not take things personal. You know, if, if your friend's having a bad day or if they vent on you a little bit or lash out at you a little bit, don't internalize it. This is difficult for me sometimes to receive it with compassion and love. And, um, Friendship, that's, that's, family is a, is, a, is a sort of friendship, so I don't want to separate friendship and family, because sometimes your friends become family, and just because someone's your family doesn't mean they're your friends, but you can, you can, it, you may have to nourish or give the same attention to your family relationships as you give to your, your friends, your, your you know, your not by blood family relationships. So it might be your parents or your sisters or your children. You know, just because there's blood doesn't necessarily mean that you have a friendship relationship. Doesn't necessarily mean that they feel easy with you. Doesn't necessarily mean that you rejoice in each other's victories and are simpatico in each other's uh, trials and obstacles. So uh, if you watch this video, 
And uh, if I manage to complete this video without smacking somebody in the car, when this video is over. Take a time. Take some time to think about your friends. Think about your best friend. Think about you know your buddy at work. Think about the people that uh, give thanks to the people that uh, bring joy into your life. To the people that are there for you, that, that are uh, give you a shoulder to cry on, a shoulder to lean on, uh, a, uh, a cheerleader when things are going when things are going well. So give thanks to those people. That, that's what life is all about. Life is all about friendship. And uh, be proactive in cultivating and maintaining your friendship, watering the flower of friendship, and be proactive. Don't take your family for granted that just because your family means you can treat them like crap, treat them like shit, ignore them, or not do this, not water the plan of friendship with your family. Don't take blood for granted. So uh, that being said, you know, if friendship isn't always happy, easy, go lucky, even though it could be. Meet your friends, angst, with compassion and uh, and love and uh, be well, be easy. And uh, this is Cosmic Mystic signing out on friendship.